I love playing in the afternoons. I get, you know, especially here at home, you get, you got more, you know, you got the hot tubs, you got the Seuss guys. Centering pass, Kaprizov scores! Able to cash in, Yul Eriksson-Eck with a nice play to get the puck in, in on the zone, and then comes up with a loose puck, and Kirill Kaprizov finally able to come up with this loose puck and beats the goaltender right over the blocker there. And you know we talked about Kirill Kaprizov and his ability and what he does around the front of the net. Kaprizov has enjoyed great success against Arizona. This is now 16 points in 12 career games against the Coyotes. This one deflected up off the post. Dumba holds his own. Kaprizov spins away from Bukestad. Addison back to Kaprizov across to Zuccarello. Back to Kaprizov. And a save by Ingram that may have actually hit Boldy before it got through to the net. Back for Dumba. Sidesteps a check. Dumba still with the puck. Carries in, cuts to the slot, a shot saved by Ingram, and Felino stopped on the rebound. Now, whistle now with a pile up at the side of the Coyote goal. Kraus tried to center, skips free for Stetcher. Stetcher moves in, still with it. On the wraparound, Fleury slides across and denies the Coyote defenseman. Stetcher, who's a defenseman, you don't expect to see that kind of play offensively. Schmaltz for Keller. Goes to Chikrin and a sliding save by Fleury. He makes two terrific stops in the final half minute of the period. Nothing by themselves. Don't give them any free opportunities. But they're going to be better this second period. I promise you that. Wild have won eight of the last nine head-to-head -head between these teams. Twelve of the last 14. Felino and O'Brien have dropped the gloves here. With a face-off coming in the Coyote zone. So it'll be a power play for the Coyotes out of this. As Felino got an extra two for a rough. Brodine for Spurgeon. Back to Brodine. Works through the middle. Gives to Steele. Now down low, it's Kaprizov. Kaprizov works down the wall, trying to avoid Chikrin. Centered. Steele with a chance. He scores! And then Kirill Kaprizov gets a half a step step on the uh, defender there, throws it into the paint. And Steele just out battles Gossespierre for that loose puck right in front of the net. And the Minnesota Wild score a gigantic goal here to make this a, a 2 0 lead right now. It's really amazing the number of picks they've had in the last two seasons alone. They've had four number one picks and five second round picks. Chikrin shot goes off the crossbar and Gostas Bear settles it down at center. You know, the, the, the wild players on the bench really need to be sharp. Spurgeon moves in, centers, and a sliding save by Ingram. And the puck deflects now at the center ice. Kaprizov drops to Zuccarello. Zuccarello in on the backhand and a save by Ingram. Spins by Kaprizov, cuts to the slot, poke checked away by Brodeen. Keller with it. 90 seconds to go in the period. Gostas Bear. Back to Schmaltz who moves in and scores. Arizona's best shift in the offensive zone in a long while. And Schmaltz beats Fleury from the high slot. Cutting Minnesota's lead in half. Chance to stretch the lead to 3-0. A lot of movement at the top of the zone here. Nick Schmaltz, who this is his third game back from a from a pretty devastating injury at the beginning of the season. He only played one period and he's got a great shot and he uses it. Uh, Kirby Dock, you gotta wonder if they're gonna be worried about that one one day. Middleton for Spurgeon. Throws it toward the net, good roll with a tip. Loose puck cleared, held by Middleton. As we start the third here in St. Paul, the Wild started the day playing with 11 forwards. They had to play with 10 most of the second. Let their only two games under 500 with with that big a differential and as I mentioned their goaltending is Spurgeon scores Through a harmless looking wrist shot from long range And the wild captain 
extends the lead to three to one. Arizona Coyotes are just hanging around here. Ewell Erickson Eck, who's been awesome in the face-off circle the last little while. Jared Spurgeon just risking it in. I don't think Eck got a piece of that one. I, it looked to me like, oh, that's tough one. That looked to me like it maybe caught Boyd's glove on the way in. Not sure if Eck got a piece of that. Back to Boldy along the wall. Boldy pressured by Kraus. Addison for Zuccarello. Zuccarello fires off the post. Out to Addison at the point. Kaprizov fires. That goes wide. Boldy has it in the corner. Addison. Kaprizov. Back across. Boldy scores! Watch this play by Kalen Addison at the top. Boom, two guys caught out of position. Arizona looking to scramble to get back. Too late. Kaprizov finds Matt Boldy on the back door. Fisher cuts to the slot. Puck is loose. Still no whistle. McBain's the one who finds it, and Flurry comes out to make the save. And he is able to stay sharp and stay square to the game, to the puck, and he's able to... We'll have another one late in the season in February. Kraus had his shot deflect wide. Michelli back for Kraus and he scores. And the Coyotes have some life with 318 left. It's 4-2. Coming into the game, had nine goals coming in. Now that's his 10th. That could have been a penalty right there on Bukestead not called by either referee and then a great play there by Lawson Kraus to buy himself just a little bit more time. We see this around the National Hockey League changing the angle there. Michelli, extra attacker for Arizona. Kraus up high Valamaki. A centering pass. They score! Mosier beats Flurry from the slot. And with still a minute 48 on the clock, the Coyotes are within a goal. The top of the zone on the outside. Again, you see Moser just move out into that quiet area. Great handle there off of his skate, and then is able to pull that to his forehand and get a lot on that for a defenseman, the Swiss native, with his 13th point in 19 games, having a. Molino threw it wide of the net. Erickson Eck trying to burn out the final seconds. He does in the wild. Hang on for a 4-3 win over the Coyotes.